All right, so this is my hand-powered generator. I turn this motor and it generates a voltage and a current which charges this capacitor bank here. And the voltage of that capacitor bank goes to the input of the five volt regulator and the output of that, of course, is five volts, which gets stored in this capacitor and then onto the load, which isn't present right now. And I'll just show you a schematic of the circuit. All right, here's the schematic. It's pretty simple. All that's really involved is the motor, which generates the voltage and the current, a diode to keep the voltage that gets charged into this capacitor from going back through the motor, and then there's the 5 volt regulator. So here's V in, here's V out, and here's ground. So this gets charged up, and I'm going to show you that using a voltmeter, which I'm going to designate V1. And once that gets to a certain potential, 5 volts is seen on the output of the 5 volt regulator and that charges this capacitor and powers the load. Presently the only load is going to be V2. That's another voltmeter. So I'm going to show you how those appear when I turn it. So here's V1. That's the voltage on the input of the regulator and this is V2, the voltage on the output of the regulator. Now presently there's no charge in the capacitors so I'm going to turn the motor. And now you can see this one's draining a bit, but this one's pretty stable where it is at the uh, 4.943, somewhere between the two. And this will continue to drain for a time, so I'm going to speed this up so you can see what happens when it gets to a certain potential. So as you can see, when this voltage here reached about 5.6 volts, this voltage dropped as well. So provided that the voltage on the input of the regulator is a little above 5 volts, it will power the output to 5 volts. So that's definitely something useful about a regulator. Now I'm going to apply a 20 ohm load. So here's my load. It's 20 ohms and it's capable of handling 7 watts. Okay, so I've put the load on, now I'm going to turn the motor. It's probably going to be a little harder to turn with the load. And I'm doing this primarily to see how long the capacitor banks will last with a load. So yeah, that barely lasted a moment, but it still gives you a more stable voltage output. Thanks for watching.